Kim Kardashian showed off her minimally elegant Christmas decorations on her Insta stories this Tuesday morning. The 40-year-old reality TV superstar treated her fans to the sight of a tasteful Christmas tree glittering with lights. Some of her other touches included a set of reindeer figurines that were arranged to look like they were peeking out from behind the branches. A pianist called Phil was seated in the corner playing seasonal favorites including the traditional carol angels we have heard on high. Kim's husband Kanye West has released a string of gospel albums including the nativity-themed record Jesus is Born which dropped on Christmas Day last year. Her decorations this year include a row of gingerbread men in jars, including a couple dressed as Santa and Mrs. Claus. The previous night Kim shared some heartwarming Insta Stories footage of her pal Lala Anthony getting a beignet box delivery. Beignet box was co-founded by the pregnant singing sensation Christina Milian who could be seen standing by her company's food truck. A gentleman dressed as the iconic Dr. Seuss character the Grinch could also be seen bounding about in the outdoor setting, which included lit trees. I just love Christmas, look who came to visit, said Lala, the estranged wife of NBA star Carmelo Anthony, as she posed with the Grinch. The character seems particularly popular this Christmas as Kim's half-sister Kylie Jenner just released a seasonal cosmetics collection with a Grinch theme. Kim's younger sister Khloe Kardashian tweeted in early November that she is still looking forward to a Kardashian-Jenner Christmas party this year. When a fan asked if the bash would be cancelled she replied, I pray not. I think it will have to be way smaller obviously. And I'm totally fine with that. But we're definitely celebrating Christmas. It will just have to be small and safe. Maybe do rapid testing before. The one-time revenge body with Khloe Kardashian host has said once again that we have to think of what is safest. Kim drew controversy in October by taking a group of 40 loved ones including Khloe and Lala abroad for her 40th birthday celebrations. The revelers flew private out to what used to be Marlon Brando's private island in Tahiti for an extravagant six-day celebration. Their vacation was criticized on Twitter for being insensitive amid the ongoing pandemic and the economic fallout of the lockdowns. La La shrugged off the backlash after she returned home, telling Entertainment Tonight, I don't really think too much about it. The busty bombshell explained. I just know we live in a world where people are gonna have something to say about everything. Last week it emerged the Kardashian-Jenner family is developing international content to air on Hulu in the United States and through Star Abroad. News of the deal was announced last Thursday at an investor day for Hulu's parent company Disney, according to a press release from the streaming service. The upcoming content will involve family matriarch Kris Jenner and her daughters Courtney. Kim and Khloe Kardashian and Kylie and Kendall Jenner. Their undisclosed new project will bow sometime next year and will be available in multiple territories outside the United States. The Kardashian Jenner's upcoming content will be out late in 2021, the same year Keeping Up with the Kardashians airs its series finale on E!